Catalan independence, 10 voted against and two abstained. Both pro-independence lawmakers and crowds of people outside the parliament did not hesitate to show their elation. OK, well, let's go live to Barcelona and our correspondent there, Charlotte Dubinsky, who's across what's been happening this afternoon. And a very eventful afternoon, a landmark decision, a landmark vote. What's been the reaction? incredible reaction on the street. We are certainly in an area of people who are pro-independence because when that vote was released that Catalan Parliament had declared an independent Republic of Catalonia, the crowd went absolutely crazy here, Andrew. A sea of people shouting, bursting into song and screaming with joy. Now, in the lead-up, the few minutes to that declaration, they were listening to the votes as they were happening. Every time a yes vote was declared, they were screaming in joy. Every time there was a no vote, they were booing. This was the reaction from thousands upon thousands, a sea of people outside the Catalan Parliament here in Barcelona, waiting for that reaction, waiting for that declaration of independence, and that is exactly what they got. Now, of course, that is not the opinion of everybody here in Catalonia. Many people would like to remain with Spain. The reality is, though, despite that declaration, we do not know what will happen next. That's because senators in Madrid are due to vote on Article 155. This is an unprecedented part of the Constitution which has never been used in Spain before since it was created back in 1978. And many people have described this as the nuclear option because essentially what it does is remove autonomy from Catalonia. So while many people are now celebrating the fact that they have that declaration of independence, they've been waiting for it for since the results of that uh, referendum on October first they now have it but it still isn't clear exactly whether that will mean there will be a republic yeah and also just looking at the reaction we've received uh, from Madrid um, but a hoy saying that law will be restored in Catalonia does that concern people given you know the heavy-handed policing that we saw during the independence referendum Yes, we've been speaking to people over the last few days and that is one thing again and again people have said is that they are concerned that if Article 155 is voted on and implemented that will mean that Madrid will take control of things like the security forces here in Catalonia. Now uh, the Catalan police are called the Mossos Esquadra and they themselves are quite divided over this question of independence or not. Uh, we were talking to people and they were saying one of the things that really concerns them about the situation of Madrid, the government there taking control, is that they will see a repeat of the violence uh, that happened during that referendum on October 1st. Uh, we saw many, many people uh, injured during their attempts to go and peacefully vote in that referendum, which was disputed in regards to the legality of it. But we've spoken to many people that say the people here in Catalan, they will resist any uh, attempts by the Madrid government to take control. But it is a concern given that the estimated hundreds, more than 800 people, were injured in that violence during the referendum. But Catalans here say they will protest peacefully. They want democracy, they want their rights, but they believe the best way to do that is to handle it peacefully. And one thing that's been really interesting here is we were in a crowd earlier that was split between those who want to remain unified with Spain and those who wanted this declaration of independence and they were holding hands. These are people who are marching together side by side. They understand that their country is divided, but they want to find a solution to work through, to decide whether this country goes ahead as being a republic or whether it remains with Spain. But the declaration from the Catalonian Parliament today is that this is now an independent republic. Yeah, and Charlotte, just looking at a broader issue of the economy too, I mean, We've seen that large firms have already moved out of Barcelona, haven't they, in fear of perhaps an independence claim by Catalonia. Are people concerned about how the region can function on its own, even if it is allowed to be independent? Are you 
Well, that is an interesting question because the economy of the Catalonia region accounts for about 20% of Spain's overall GDP. So this one region accounting for a fifth of the economy in Spain. And many people in Catalonia, one of the reasons they wanted independence is because they feel that they're propping up some of the poorer parts of the country. Now, since that referendum, that disputed referendum took place on October 1st, around 1,500 companies, we understand, have left the Catalan region, some of them moving their HQs to other places like Madrid or uh, other areas in Valencia. So there is some concern and also a uh, city that we're in at the moment, Barcelona, is heavily dependent on the tourism industry and there has been a slump in that tourism industry after people saw the, that violence uh, during the referendum and obviously because there is a big question over what is going to happen here. So these are questions that people are concerned about because jobs mean money, mean putting food on the table but the reality is we are in a completely new era. Nobody knows what's going to happen and we're going to have to see how this plays out over the next few days. But the people who want independence, they want it at all costs because they feel it is their democratic right to have their own country. OK, Charlotte, look, we'll leave it there for now. We'll come back to you uh, over the course of the evening, though. Thanks very much for the moment. That was Charlotte Dubinsky for us uh, in Barcelona. Well, let's get more reaction to from... Uh, Enric Folk, he's from the Catalan Solidarity for Independence Movement and uh, I believe he's with us now. There he is. Enric, hello, good to talk to you. I spoke to you just, I think it was 24 hours ago. You were concerned yes. that there had been no declaration of independence. Now it seems you've got it. Yes, finally we got it. Uh, we are very happy, people here, it's uh, very happy. We think and we thought and we uh, fight against of, uh, of this uh, to obtain these uh, these results. Finally, we get it, uh, and then we are absolutely uh, happy and uh, and uh, with a big hope for the future. While this is going on, Madrid has said that uh, the rule of law will be upheld in Catalonia. And Madrid is also voting on whether to invoke Article 155, which would remove the autonomy of Catalonia. What, what are your fears about that? Well, uh, in fact, uh, this it has been voted in, uh, in Spain. They, they want to remove the, the um, autonomy of Catalonia by the Article 155. But uh, look, actually, uh, there is no autonomy in Catalonia. Uh, because Catalonia decided not to be inside of Spain. Then it means that uh, now they have a conflict. They, ha they can uh, say that uh, they avoid the, the autonomy of Catalonia, but it doesn't matter for us because we will follow our own law, our own institutions and our own Catalan Republic. That means that they has nothing to do. The only one thing they could do is to act by force, not by law, like they was acting time before that uh, they pervert absolutely all the law and all the Catalan petitions. That means that uh, we now will follow our own way, our own law and the Republic of Catalonia. Practically though, in the coming months, I mean, if what you say plays out the way it does, it's going to be very difficult, isn't it, for Catalonia to, to maintain itself as a region, given all the problems you'll have with Madrid, with the police perhaps as well, and the economy too, because we've seen companies leave Catalonia in the run-up to this independence call. What are your concerns about the functionality of Catalonia over the coming months? Yes, uh, nobody, nobody says that this it will be easy. These steps, it will be difficult steps. Of course, we will front in immediately a lot of difficulties. Companies which will go out and other companies will come back again. I am practically sure. But, uh, but okay, we will need to face a lot of, uh, a lot of uh, situations, especially uh, because of Madrid will, uh, will want at all uh, to return back to, to Spain. But um, this is the cost of the independence. Nobody was saying that this will be uh, uh, in gratitude and, uh, and without pain. We will need to pay, but we are ready to pay any cost for be free. Is there still room for dialogue here with Madrid? Just confirming what you said earlier at the top of the interview, we do now know uh, that the Madrid uh, Parliament Senate sorry, did vote in favour of invoking Article 155. From that, there's an obvious conflict, isn't there? Do you think there's room for dialogue to sort this problem out at all? What are your thoughts on that? 
well, our our president was getting uh, hands uh, open to to dialogue, but uh, but as as far as I know, uh, a lot of pressures from uh, inside of the government politic party um, Partido Popular PP uh, and Mr. Rajoy was suffering uh, a great pressure inside of the of the party uh, for the application of the Article 155. They want to apply this uh, this article. They want to suppress all this the Catalan autonomy, and they want to uh, close all the independent movement in uh, Catalonia. This is something which you cannot do. Maybe you will apply for uh, articles of constitution. Maybe you will apply for uh, anything. But in fact, the independence and the independent movement created from the from the, the basis of the people it will not be something which you can press by law or by nothing either by force you never could press it it means that catalonia will decide his future because the people decided his future mm. and decided it by a democratic way there is no another way back actually i was looking at the pictures from inside the Catalan Parliament, and I did see people hug each other, and they were very joyful at the end. But before that, there were people leaving in protest, and also on the streets of Catalonia, there's division too. Yes, people, a large number of people want independence, but there are people that don't. I mean, it's not just Spain that's divided. There are divisions too in Catalonia, aren't there? Of course, it's, it's clear. Uh, there is people in Catalonia that they don't want to be to be separated from Spain. This is right. It's a, it's legitimate uh, right. They could uh, they could think on it, but uh, but of course, if you put a votation in March, then you have the right to go and to vote. And it was some Catalans which was uh, thinking that uh, it is better to stay in in Spain that they was voting not. Uh, to the independence, but look, when a pulling is down and uh, you have the right to go and to express yourself, the results of this uh, votation it must fo it must be followed. There is the moment to say yes or to say no. If the, there is not a, 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 a reasonable question to say that there is a lot of people who want to be in Spain. Yes, there is a lot, but how much? how much you know when you vote and there it was clearly who was voting and who was not voting and what was the result okay enric look really good to get your thoughts uh, so soon after all this is uh just developed and broke. Uh, we appreciate it. Uh, that was Enric Folk, uh, Secretary of the International Section Catalan Solidarity for Independence. Thank you. Thank you very much. Well, Catalonia's referendum on independence on October the 1st, you might remember, was marked by violence from Spanish police who were uh, ordered to prevent the vote from taking place.